Choose your outfit. Alright guys, today is going to be a workout from our home plan with the Fitness Culture app. So we have at gym programs, we have tons of different programs. This one is from our at home program. Obviously with people being home right now in the quarantine, tons of people are loving this. You guys can definitely click the link in the description to try it out. Some things you're gonna need for today's workout. You're gonna want something that you can do bicep curls with. Now I think the easiest thing is if you have two gallons of milk and you wanna do that, just depending on how strong you are, I wanted to try this out. So I have these salt crystals for my water softener. I have this douchebag backpack that kind of fits it perfectly. So I think this is about 40 pounds. It's pretty heavy, so I'm actually gonna get good work doing that. Um, these douchebag backpacks are pretty tactical, like they're pretty solid. I can either go two arm here or close grip, single bicep curl. <laughs> That's actually quite a bit of weights. Um, you're also gonna need a stool or a chair, something that you could elevate your feet with and your hands for dips. Um, and then the ab stuff is gonna be pretty much body weight. So get that ready. I know we picked this shirt at the beginning, but I didn't realize it was arms. So let's go. We have two ab circuits. Now they're gonna be done two different occasions. We're gonna do our first core circuit, which is gonna consist of three movements. Take, you know, 10 seconds between each movement, but they're designed to be done quickly. So we're gonna do three movements, resting 10 seconds in between. Once you finish round one of the circuit, rest 30 to 40 seconds, maximum 60 if you have to, and then get right back up and do that same circuit. We're gonna be doing that circuit three times, resting then two minutes, and then on to our next circuit. Same type of thing. 10 to 15 seconds between exercises. Once you've completed one round, rest 30 to 60 seconds. Once you've completed three rounds or the whole circuit, rest two minutes before moving on to what is then gonna be our arm circuit. Arms straight out to the sides, just straight down with our legs. You can bend a little bit if you need to, keeping though everything else nice and tight. I like to keep my arms straight out to the side. And go knees, bring it in for these last 10. All right, come up here, just start that clock. We got one minute, flutter kicks, ready to go. I like to just put my hands underneath my derriere and really focusing on keeping my legs straight and moving about each, each leg about a foot, maybe two feet. It's gonna start hurting here, especially because we're doing each of these movements right after the other. So basically we're not giving ourselves a lot of rest time. Now the good thing about abs is they recover quickly so we don't need a ton of rest time. That's why we're always super setting or giant setting abs. They're gonna recover quickly. 20 more seconds. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Getting the hip flexors working in this one too. Three, two, one, good job. Woo. Stop that clock. Next thing we have is alternating toe touches. We got 20 of these right now. So again, what an alternating toe touch is gonna look like. Feet are gonna be straight, so almost like a V snap, but we're just touching opposite hand to opposite foot. Rest for 30 seconds, maybe 60 seconds. I'm gonna we'll be right back into those windshield wipers. All right guys, so our second ab circuit is gonna consist of three movements. I put on some shoes because the first one's a plank movement and if you're slipping around all over the place, it's a lot harder. So we have a minute of plank oblique crunches. Now, plank position, hands out here. I'm gonna go ahead and start this timer. Nice, tabletop here, 
straight arms, wrist, elbow, shoulders all in line. We're coming up, we're gonna bring that leg all the way up as high as we can. I'm not as flexible as probably some of the people watching this, but we're gonna be really working on our obliques here. We're gonna be working our shoulders, hip flexors, coming back to this plank position here. If you ever get too overwhelmed, just come here or even here. It's up to you guys, but try to keep moving right here, side to side. Halfway there, come on. Eight seconds, eight seconds. Three. 20 seconds break, and we'll be back. Next up, we have a side, side plank, clamshell crunch. Hips are gonna be off the ground. We got 30 seconds on this side. Really squeezing that elbow to knee. 30 seconds here, and then we're gonna rotate and do 30 seconds on the other leg. Woo! All right, last thing, we have a 30 second hollow hold. Hollow hold, legs and arms are off the ground. Lower back is still touching, but we're just gonna squeeze right here. Really try to keep elbows to either side of the ears. You can see start shaking on this one. All right guys, all done with abs. It's actually a lot tougher than I thought when you're doing things for time kicks your butt. Now, we're gonna be doing pretty much just all you have left is biceps and triceps. Not too bad, right? Well, we got 100 reps for our biceps and 100 reps for triceps. And that bag that, you know, that backpack or, you know, even if you just have grocery bags and you put books in there or canned goods. I just don't recommend putting babies or dogs in the bags. Stay away from anything alive. But anything else, fair game. We're gonna be doing 100 arm curls. Now, you can break these up into any amount of reps that you want. So if you're doing something, if you only find something that's really light, and you're doing 25 reps, and you fail at 25, you know, you got four sets. 25, 25, 25, you're breaking it up into four sets. We're gonna be doing the bicep curl with chair dips. Now, chair dips, you can do them really, one of three ways, really. The first and hardest is going to be with your feet elevated, all the way down, trying to hit 90 degrees, all the way up. If you can't do that, we're gonna go feet on the ground as far away from you as possible and do the same thing. Walking them close to you will give you more assistance and help you push through your legs to then get your upper body up. Pick one of those and even if you wanna start off on one of them and then finish with closer, that's fine too. I would recommend trying to stick with the same one each time. So what I'm gonna tell you guys to do on these, stay one to two reps shy of failure for each. You don't wanna burn out completely because you're not gonna have a ton of rest in between. So if you're burning out completely and you go to absolute failure, you're going past that threshold and you're not gonna be able to recover as fast to get back on to it. So this is supposed to be done as fast as possible. Again, in order so you don't completely burn out too quickly and not be able to finish your 100 reps in a fairly good time, I would say stay one to two reps shy of failure on each one of these things. So um, I got 40 pound curls here. I'm gonna try to do sets of 15, starting off with my bicep curls. All right, here we go. Obviously, this is kind of a close grip. It's actually a really good pump. It's a great setup there. Straight into our tricep dips all the way down. One down, really got five to go. And I guess if you want to get a different stimulus, if you want to use a different curl, you do a hammer curl, depending on your back. Spicy. 
sometimes if the bag's swinging, it's actually harder to get it up because you're kind of counterbalancing it. on your dips as well. Babe, come see how big my arms are. It's the most Jim Douche thing ever. Yo, babe. Yo, babe! I'm so vascular. Oh, how much do that bag weighs? Oh, oh shit! What are we good in here? Dead bodies? Carol Baskin's dead husband? I gotta get on my last set. Last set here. I want you to come in and watch this. Juicy. Last set, best set. Juicy. Is this a good arm pump or what? Yeah. Last set. Last set. 91, 92, 93, 94, 95, 96, 97, 98, 99. Listen, some of us have to work for our physiques, okay? We don't just get fed premium dog food with high high protein in it and just stay huge, okay? Oh, oh, you're stretching? You just want everyone to make sure they know you do your yoga? We're gonna go see what this weighs. This might just be a classic case of weight in the gym really feels like less than like a hay bell that weighs the same thing. This shouldn't be more than 50 pounds. I'll step on it. Let's see what I weigh first. 217.8. It was 220 yesterday at the gym. All right. Over 40 pounds, 45 pounds. 45 pounds. That definitely feels heavier than any 45 pound bar that I've done curls with. But just goes to show you, it's kind of good to take a break, do some home workouts right now. It's gonna really force you to use different muscles, just like even to balance with that. There's that counter swing that the bag has as I'm moving. That's gonna kind of incorporate all sorts of other muscles that you're gonna have to bring into play here. And it was good pump, so give that a try. We'll see you guys next time.